The Reverend Mitsuo Aoki, a theologian, minister, and college professor, founded the religion department at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. He also established a nonprofit organization called the Foundation for Holistic Healing and served as an influential figure in the establishment of Hospice Hawaii's volunteer program. After he got through um, his first degree, he embraced it in his, in his academic thesis, the dying process, and, uh, and he would tell us that back on the plantation uh, where he was raised on the Big Island, North Kohala, uh, the tradition was when someone died uh, to, dig the, to dig the grave and to, and so he was always, he was one of the folks that went and got his shovel and, and participated in that process. And so, so the education that he brought to the community about looking at a subject that at first glance, our culture does not embrace. Um, so I understand, and while I wasn't here at the time, that he was uh, one of the people who helped spearhead that conversation in the community. Um, in training sessions, eventually it evolved to classes uh, and part of a curriculum at the university. And, uh, and so from that came what emerged was what we know today as um, certainly as, as Hospice Hawaii and their, their other um, hospices as well. Born in the plantation town of Havi on Hawaii Island, Aoki, known as Mitz, was raised in the Jodoshu Buddhist tradition and converted to Christianity in the 1930s. Aoki helped many cancer patients to not fear death, but to accept it and focused on the positive aspects in life. A 2003 documentary called Living Your Dying that focused on Aoki's work with cancer patients was featured in the Hawaii International Film Festival. In the documentary, Aoki shares his own near-death experience that later prompted him to focus on death and dying. He always said that death was a mirror, and what you learned as you grew close to death was how to live. Um, actually, at his memorial service uh, this past weekend, um, the, the executive producer, Didi Leon, told a story about a woman that uh, the reason she wanted to make the film was she was working with a woman in hospice and uh, Mitsuoki was working with that woman and, and the woman told her, uh, before I met him, before I met Mitz, my life was in black and white and now it's in color. So that, that kind of tells you, you know, what his effect is, what his effect was. When he taught world religion at the University of Hawaii, officials had to move it to the Varsity Theater to accommodate the large crowds. His students dubbed him the Cosmic Dancer because of his big ideas and his habit for lecturing from atop his desk while doing Tai Chi styled moves. He spent more than four decades teaching others his views on death and dying, always with a great sense of humor and humility. He was indeed an extraordinary human being. Often when Mitz uh, met great people, he would always ask for their blessing. And so he went to the Dalai Lama and as he came in the room, the Dalai Lama got off of his throne and came down and extended his hand to Mitz and shook his hand and said, come sit, you and I are the same. He said, you and I are the same. And they had this wonderful conversation with one another. You know, later when it came time for the Dalai Lama to come to Hawaii, uh, many years later, um, Mitz was chosen um, by this committee of people to um, introduce the Dalai Lama at uh, the Waikiki Shell. He was kind of the natural person, you know, to, to introduce the Dalai Lama. And so all of the uh, organizers of the visit, you know, were in this hall and to greet the Dalai Lama when he first came. And they all had their um, scarves, their uh, katas, and, um, and were all lined up, you know, with their heads bowed. The Dalai Lama came into the room. He immediately saw Mitz all the way down at the end of the line, and he bypassed everybody, and he went to Mitz and extended his hand, and he said, good to see you again, Cosmic Dancer. And they had this wonderful, you know, uh, re rejoining. And the Dalai Lama remembered Mitz, you know. 
and, and Mitz was just amazed, you know, because this Dalai Lama, you know, Dalai Lama meets so many thousands of people, yet he remembered Mitz.